Hello and welcome to our screencast. In this episode, we are going to give a very brief introduction to FineMux, which is a static analysis tool available for Java. Static analysis is a known technique of finding bugs and potential pitfalls in the source code without actually running the program. In their book, Secure Programming with Static Analysis, the authors provide a general model for any static analysis tool. According to them, any static analysis tool will have two main components, the front end and the analyzer. The front end is the model through which the users interact with the system. The source code, along with any set of rules that have to be applied on the source code, are given to the static analysis tool through the front end. The analyzer is the heart of any static analysis tool. It is the analyzer that takes in the inputs that are given through the front end, performs static analysis on a bytecode, say for example in Java, and then produces the results which can be viewed by developers and programmers alike. FindBugs is one such static analysis tool that performs data flow analysis and lexical analysis on the bytecodes that are produced by Java classes. FindBugs can be downloaded from FindBugs or SourceForge.net website. FindBugs is available both for Windows as well as Linux operating systems. Uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, however, I will be using only the Windows version of FindBugs. Upon downloading and extracting the zip file, we have to enter into the library folder of FindBugs. Once we get into the library folder of FindBugs, we need to search for FindBugs.jar file and double click it. This will open the web interface of FindBugs. It is through this interface that we can give our source files and our class files to FindBugs to perform static analysis. We will not delve deep into the details of how to use FindBugs because that will be the subject of our ensuing screen class. In this, we just want to show what the interface looks like. Now, once the interface opens up, we need to go to File and open a new project, File menu and open a new project. Here, we can see several fields that are present in the new window. The main important field is the class path for analysis field. It is in this field that we give the class name of the Java code that we want to perform static analysis on. Now, if this class references other classes, then those classes can be provided in the field called auxiliary class path. And if we happen to have the source files for all these class files that we want to perform static analysis tools, uh, static analysis on, then all those source files can be given in the field uh, named source directories. Upon entering all these values, if we click on the analyze button, then FindBooks actually performs static analysis on our bytecodes that we have given through our class files and it generates a report. What the report looks like and, to, and are the bugs that are generated by FindBooks really true bugs or are they false positives is a matter of discussion in the ensuing screencast. For now, all we have understood is what FindBugs is, what static analysis is, and how FindBugs looks like. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned. In the ensuing episodes, we will delve more deep into the details of FindBugs.